Sensationalizing, that's a word that you hear a lot nowadays with the type of rap music that's being played and the demeanor of the rap music with the gangster rap and also with films, with gangster films and so on. Say hello to my little friend! I actually look at a show on TV called Gangland, and this is a show to me that definitely has a serious negative to it because it basically pumps up gangs and the gang lifestyle. And I think for somebody young sitting at home watching TV, they see this and they think like, wow, you know, I want to emulate that. I want my city to be the toughest. I want my gang to be the toughest. We're not talking just about black gangs. We're talking about Hispanic gangs, Asian gangs, Caucasian gangs, and so on. On. And what they do is they pump these gangs up and then they spend the last minute talking about how one person in particular has changed their life. Since ancient relic days, barbarians have been just that. Barbarians. Masters of disaster. Kings of carnage. Bashing in skulls, robbing and stealing, leaving nothing but death and mayhem in their paths. Nowadays, the barbarians are the ones who are supposed to protect us, that are supposed to serve peace to us, the ones that we are supposed to feel most safe around. Let me start off by saying that law enforcement is not an easy job at all. And I think for someone to become a police officer, for one, you have to have brass balls because anybody who wants to be a cop knows that your life is in jeopardy at any time. My name is L.D. Taylor and I'm a filmmaker from Northern California. I was raised in Oakland, California and Richmond, California during the 70s, 80s, and 90s. My thoughts on Oakland back in the 70s is it was a fun place to live. You know, we had a lot of diversity in Oakland. You know, things were, were pretty smooth. You had the Black Panther movement, which was trying to uh, help out the community and show unity amongst the uh, African-American community throughout Oakland. During the 70s, there were two gangs in Oakland that were rivals. One was uh, Felix Mitchell in the 6ix9ine Village. Then you had Mickey Moore and the family. For years, these two gangs were behind a major crime element in the city of Oakland. When the 80s came around, the flooding of drugs in the urban community became rapid throughout the United States and Oakland was a city that was hit very hard. More gangs started to surface and disputes that were handled with fists turned to guns. By 1985, Felix Mitchell was behind bars. 